Now let's convert a sales quote to a sales invoice, skipping the sales order process, which is oftentimes the case. Many times you'll find that you can go directly from a sales quote with your customer to a sales invoice. To do this, let's come here to the Tasks pull-down menu and come down to Quotes Sales Orders and over to Quotes. Pull up the quote that you want to convert. Let's convert this quote to Freeman Enterprises. Come here to the toolbar button row and click on the Convert button. When converting to a sales invoice, you can do one of two things. You can convert this quote to a sales invoice or convert it to a sales invoice and print it right away. Let's convert this to a sales invoice, the first choice. Click OK and you'll see that the screen immediately clears. Now that quote is no longer available within the quotes window. Peastree has moved it to the sales invoicing section. Let's close this window and let's go find that quote that we just converted to a sales invoice. Come here to the sales invoicing line and click on the open button to find that quote. Now if you have a lot of invoices in here it may be difficult to find the quote you just converted. If you converted it without printing it, it will not have a reference number. Because remember that Peachtree assigns a reference number, which is an invoice number, when it prints the invoice. So we can simply look for those invoices in this list that do not have a reference number. Here it is right here. If we had printed it, we would know what the invoice number is, and then we could find it that way. Let's open it up and look at it. We can see here that Peachtree is tracking the quote number for us. Let's look at this invoice, how it looks when it prints. Let's preview it using the invoice plane template. And here's what it looks like. Let's magnify this a little bit and see, here's the invoice we can deliver to our customer. 